little bit of the incredible uh, uh, pearls that I gleaned. Rabbi Koki sits here. That I gleaned about Kenyan. And I want to, you know, when we started the Chabura, if anyone's not here, it's okay. Hopefully they'll hear the recording. When we started the Chabura, I don't know if everyone remembers, there was a little bit of a um, trauma, we could call, over the fact that Kenyan and his fighting of pencils, I don't know if you remember the launch event that we had and the Chabura were talking with pencil and writing. Whoa, slow down, Rabbi. We're just going to learn for a few minutes, right? But now, since then, Baruch Hashem, the Chabura has evolved and upgraded, and we went from 15 minutes to 25 minutes, and I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to put on the table perhaps a chiddush, a kula, a kula, lastly, de chumra. We have five people. We have five people. You know what? No, it's not true. We have three online. We have three online. His father's coming. So, so it's, it's quality, not quantity. Oh, Rabbi Kogig is senior. No, nine, you know what that word means. We're nine people. We're nine people. It's Givaldic. So this is what I wanted to point out. So we went from 15 to 25. Ooh. And we, we went. But now the, what I gained over Shabbos is we spent the whole Shabbos. No, no, no. It's not. I'm creating the time. And I'm only going to say coolest tonight. I actually want to, I might want to cut out one night, which we're going to talk about in a moment. I might want to cut out Sunday night. But I, I, I want to I, I explain what we're doing. I want to explain what we're doing. We're learning Gemara. I think there are, there are certain parts of this Masech, the last night, uh, the Kogis were there, uh, Shragi, you were there. And we had this host, we started on Daf Beis. We started on Daf Beis for the learning chilek. Uh, Rabbi Weisbord was there, hopefully I'll hear the recording. We started on Daf Beis, and we learned yesterday Daf Beis, of Gimlam and Aleph, and then we skip to the bottom of Gimlam and Base. And I think those who learned it could attest that Imamish flowed. You could read it. It was nice. It was a friendly it's piece of Gemara. It was Gishmak. Why? Because we knew it, and we hazarded it, and we hazarded it, and we knew it. So, so the Chiddush of Kenyan, the words of Rabbi Newman, the fact that it took that that the Chiddush of Kenyan is that there has to be a Chiddush to do Chazara. It makes no sense, but. What we do by Kenyan is we don't learn Gemara. We don't learn Gemara. We chazer Gemara. The whole world learns Gemara. Daf Yemi learns Gemara. And I, I'm, I could only, you know, they say, you know, he who in glass houses should not throw stones. I, I could only say this because I do Daf Yemi. And I do, I do all the Yemis. I, 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 I do all the Yemis. I do all the Yemis. You know, it's in the words of Rabbi Elephant, it's my, it's my checkbox in life. I do the Yemis. The difference is, here, we don't just learn the Gemara. The Gemara, the learning, what we do around this table is really, really just a prerequisite step to chazer the Gemara. This is prerequisite. And then, if we chazer it, and I want to I go back to, you know, chazering around the table when we finish this year, and I want to upgrade the chazara daily by everyone. If we do that, I think we'll all see that that's when the Gemara is built. And that's when we start realizing that, wow, we learned the Daf. And we know the Daf. Beis and Alf. We know Beis and Alf. We know Beis and Mabes. We know Gimbal and Alf. We know it. And with, with knowing it, that's really what brings out the ultimate. It's Gishmak at that point. I think everyone here at some level could attest to that. So what I, what I would like to do is I'm going to suggest as follows. I'm going to suggest that uh, the Chabura is going to, from now on, be off on Sundays. I will vote in a moment. We're going to be off on Sundays. It's called um, addition by subtraction. I think I would like to day off on Sundays. And I would like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to be... Uh, some of the, we spoke around the table, all the different Rosh Chaburas. Everyone says the way that they do it. Some of the Mamish, you know, you Harik Valyavar. You know, you miss a night, it's called tough. Don't come back tomorrow. Don't call me. Don't speak to me. Forget it. I don't, when I see you on the street, walk to the other side. <laughs> no, not that far. But some of the Chaburas. But I, I would like, we're going we're gonna to give off Sundays. We're going to give off Sundays. Let's tell you, Allah's boosting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, everyone knows that we have a Zoom option, as the wonderful Chavar here on Zoom. And I'm still going to post it, so we have the video option. But realize the difference when you're here, when you're on Zoom, versus not. And what I would like to try to now, I think, after being together for almost a year, and, and seeing, number one, hearing the stories last night, right? Yana, 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 a couple, we'll call them a couple, father and son, in their uh, big day Miami. Chazering, you know, uh, Tumid on the plane. He said over a story how a father and son went to Miami and on the flight back, it's not a long flight. How long is the flight? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. They chazered the whole Tumid. Tumid is eight blot. But they sat there together and, and why do they do that? Why do they do it? Hey, we'll go to Florida. We'll go to Florida. I'll, I'll, I'll take the cover to Florida. Don't, 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 don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. That's what we should do on the time. Ah, there you go. Ah, there you go. There you go. But, um, what, 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 what I think we need to do is the reason why they chazed it wasn't just is because it was, it, was, it was actually at some level enjoyable. Obviously, every level. Because now, if you want to know concepts of chazara, 
So we think Yechaz are once, Yechaz are twice, four times. The words of Rav David Newman, there's one Chabura, he made a stamp of 20 boxes. And every page of the Gemara, I don't know where he has room, I guess your Gemara is more room. He stamps the Gemara with 20 boxes, and you can't move further until you have 20 boxes Check. checked off for Chazar. So I hear that on like 20 boxes. So if David Newman stands up and he says, 20 is nice, but it doesn't mean you know it. Rabbi Newman, 20 chazars. He says, because we all know you can do a chazar. He says, when you know it is when I ask you, what are the 11 steps of the Gemara? It's like, oh yeah. That's 20 chazars. It's knowing, in his words, it's knowing what's coming next. And I think, I'm going to use Bezim and Alpha as an example. It might be Bezim and Alpha is like there, and especially we just did it last night, you know. Bezim and Alpha, we know we have a Mishnah with the Dinim, right? Three wall, t- two and a quarter walls, three walls. Shade, uh, one second, shade and height. The Gemara starts with a Kash from Eirevin, two Turutsim. And then we have the three Shittas, Rabba, Rav Zahira, and Rava. That's the whole Bezim and Alpha. The Kenyan Chavra, believe it or not, and I'm, I'm blown away hearing how many people do this, know every single Amid like that. How's it Shaykh? The answer is, because how many times do we do Bezim and Alf? We did it. I, I, let's, I, we, someone here can do the math. We did a lot, right? Or Ravavi, we went back and we did a Chazar, right? Yeah, I think we did it together. Many times. Five, five times. And together. Five and then people, I think, did it on their own. So, so I think, I think what, what we have to do is we have to realize that we're all learning. And God, I happen to think that attendance-wise, right, right here around the table, we have five around the table, we have three on Zoom, so we have eight around the table. Um, I think we're, we're about eight every night. I think that's our, that's our number. And if someone has an onus, you have an onus, and you make it up. But I think what we need to try to do is realize... <laughs> okay, so you'll make it up. you make it up. I think we have to realize that number one is to make it up if we miss. Not say, oh, the next night I'll get it. But number two is the chazar. So what I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna do is, is number one, we're gonna cancel Sundays because I know that if you fight, if you don't have that night to breathe, then you, if you know Sunday night, I'm off. So now, if you need to do something, it's Sunday night, you're off. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Number one, number two is we're gonna stop every night religiously at eight twenty, and we're gonna do the Chazar in here. Everyone will read over the Gemara, and you, I think you also realize that it's also something we did back in that base. Is when you read the Gemara, Rabbi Newman is is violently encouraging with pencils and pens to write in your Gemara. And I actually told someone. I said, uh, all my Gemaras, you know, so because some of the Rosh were saying, yeah, show the Chavra, you write it in also. I said, I, I don't do it as a show. My, my Gemaras are written in but, because when I learned them, I, I write it in. This is a very good daf. You can see Mamish, the notes on the side, everything. You put in the commas, you put in things because then you could read it. And if you could read it, then it'll work. And I'll, I'll end. I want to tell you one more. I, I'll tell you an amazing story. This story they didn't say over last night. And, you know, I'll, I'll keep it on recording. I don't really care. The Mizamrim were were there for Shabbos. Let's see the Shachavra Meiridik. Beautiful, beautiful. It was it was a, they they know how to throw a party. Yeah. Give them. So these Chavra there. See Shachavra. Friday night, um, right? Wagner spoke and Ray Newman spoke. After one of their speeches, so one of the see the Shachavra. I, I think I, I haven't have been there. Just it was a miracle. I was there. I, I think I went to say Shachavra, and he starts saying like you know I, I do events every single week. I've never heard of just regular people that actually enjoy learning and do chazara. And the way you're talking of this is like, it's mind boggling. So I'm standing there and I say to him, you should know, when I started my shir, you know, it was almost like, you know, the Eagle Azov. You know, it was like, yeah, we're going to learn Gemara in the beginning. I don't know if everyone remembers that first. Uh, it was very like, uh, I don't know, could we do it? So we said 15 minutes and we said light and we said, don't worry. He's like, yeah, mamish. I said, yeah. I said, I said, listen, my chavra, some of them are learning and some of them aren't. And a lot of them, it's like, really? The Hasidic guy says, since the age of seven, he has not been able to open a Sefer. So when he was seven years old, he, uh, he, uh, he says he's dyslexic. And his father, and he couldn't read. He could have, he couldn't read. And his father asked him, oh, I'll teach you how to read. Said, come, 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 come. And he opens the Lachun Ranana. And the guy doesn't say Ranana. He messes up all the words. He said, the frask I got, I wasn't able to learn. Adai Yoy he says, I go to a shear, I go to this, I cannot learn. So he says, he can't learn. He mamish can't learn. He says, I'm listening here tonight, and it's the first time in my life I'm hearing, you know what, maybe I can learn. It gets better. The story gets better. These clever are singing and singing Shabbos morning. Shalashudis, Shalashudis, the whole thing ends. They say, we have a guest speaker. Yenach Siddish guy gets up to speak in front of 
the whole Chavra. It's about 150 Rosh Chavur and their wives. So about, about 300 people. And he says how I never was able to learn. He says, I went to Shir Thursday night and they were talking about the four things that happen when one is Nifter. They ask you four questions. Kavate, Itim, Bataira. Were you Nasata, Nasata, Bamuna? You Isaac, Bepera, Rivia? Were you Sipis, the Yeshua? He said, the Shir was about Sipis, the Yeshua, waiting for Mashiach. like that, Baruch Hashem, away from Mashiach. He said, Puravu, Baruch Hashem, I have Kinder. Nasata, do I deal with business? I'm Mamish, Erlich, and business. He said, but when it comes to Shir, to learn, I never was able to learn. So this afternoon, so now Ray Wagner and Ray Newman, this is why they're the best. What did Ray Wagner do when this guy said this Friday night? So Shabbos learned. afternoon, he's like, no, let's go. He says, can you do me a favor? He says, what's a favor? He said, come with me to the base manager for 10 minutes. He sits down with him. He opens the Mishnah. He opens the Mishnah in Talmud. He said he learned the Mishnah. He made him read it back to Mishnah to him. Then after Mincha, they read the Mishnah a third time. He says, the first time in probably 20 years, I learned a Mishnah. I learned the Mishnah and a Mirta Shem. He was Mamish Makavel, Bifneyam Veida. He's going to sit and learn. What's Pshat? What's Pshat? There's, there's millions of learning programs. The Pshat is when you slowly learn something and chazer it and read it with your own mouth, it slowly becomes enjoyable. So, with that, what I, what I would like to do is, and the Ilam could uh, vote if they are a maskim, the, the, you know, the, sometimes in order to add, you have to subtract. So, what I would like to do is, I want to take away Sundays. I want to take away Sundays. I want to take away Sundays. But with that is, I want to try that if we miss, to make it up. Which I think, I think Pachasa Yeser, the Ilam does. But the most important is the Chazar is two things. Number one is in Shir, meaning when we finish, everyone should try to read it back and forth. And the next day, find it. How long does it take? We all know how long does it take to do Chazar during the day? Three minutes. Three minutes. Maybe if you want to do it a little more, five minutes. But, but it, it, it changes everything. And I think it also, if you realize, if sometime, if at two o'clock you're sitting at the desk and you have a Gemara and you take three minutes and you open the Gemara, it, it really changes your, it changes a lot. It's, it's, it's not like, I said to someone over Shabbos, I said, you go to Def Yemi Shir, what's a Def Yemi Shir? You check in at eight o'clock, you check out at whatever long chair is, and the next night, Nachamol, you check in at eight o'clock and you check out and that's finished. I said, the mile of what we're doing is, is we learn it, we chazard. Sometime during the day, you try to chazard again. And the last thing is over Shabbos, you really have to be chazard, doing the weekly chazard, which of course is the hardest, because over the course of the week, we'll end up doing an omelet, a blah, whatever it is. But if we do that, then think about it. We learned the Gemara together once. After Shi'ar, we chazard how many times? Actually, two times, because you read it to someone else and they read it to you. So that's three times. The next day you do it once is four times. So we come to Shabbos. The next year, you're usually. Oh, the next year, very good. The next year, and also I'll still send out the voice notes, which although a lot of the Russian Chabur are very anti my voice notes. I said, what's the problem? No, it's a crutch, and they don't learn it themselves. I said, they listen for three minutes, and then you read it yourself. No, but it's true. It is true that you have to you have to read it yourself. It's a very big difference listening and reading. So Gavadi, I will still send it out. Ravavi, God bless you. You'll keep on reminding me, and we'll still send it out. But we'll try to read it ourselves. So if you think that, then you do it. Uh, then we start the next year with it again. Come Shabbos, you already did it five times. And then on the Shabbos, you could run through an Amid, a Blat, in, in however long it takes. I think we've already taken many, many steps higher. And I think we see already ourselves. The second parak also, many Chavra have commented on the second parak, Mamash, we did good. Oh, Ravitzi, Erev Tov. I think, uh, I think, Mir Tashem, that's when. So is, is, the Ilam, is the Ilam asking? I'm not going to make you sign on the data long like some Chaburis. Mamash, uh, one, guy, one guy says, no, he says, very good. He's like, it's not about Torah. This is a contract. It's a business agreement. It's a business agreement. Listen, we could say yay, we could say nay, the mice of those chaburas are the strongest chaburas in the world. It's crazy. But anyways, so from henceforth, we will not be meeting on Sundays. We will not be meeting on Sundays. Still, everyone should try their hardest to come from Meirev, as Meirev always needs a chizik on Sundays. It will not be on Sundays, but it will be Monday through Thursday. We'll stop at 8 o'clock to have a chizik in the chazar number one. And everyone during the day, and also... Especially now that I'm not in the chat, the Ilum could push each other. Ilum could push each other. If you do your Chazara, you could write in. We, we know. Uh, Rabavi, do we clear out the chat entirely? Is there any leftovers there? I think we cleared it. Maybe one or two. If there's any leftovers, let's wipe them out now. Let's tell Sarabim. And then we know there's 12 guys in the chat. A hell of high, we should have 12 people every day. But even if it's whatever it is, and the Ilum could push. The Ilum could say, hey, what's going on? At 2 o'clock, at 3 o'clock. There's some Chaburas that the rule is you can't go to sleep without Chazara. And the mamish sit there throughout the night. No, let's go. We need one more chazara. One o'clock in the morning. Yanko, where are you? Yanko, wake up. Let's go. One thirty. You're doing your chaz- now. Now, it, 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 in a way, it's it. But you know what? If it comes from within, well, it's, it's coming from a place of love. We all want it because I think we all realize that by doing this, 
we'll know the Gemara better. And Bisiat that's the uh, that's the goal. So, are we all in agreement? Right. Yeah. Ravelli, you thought you joined the symbol shear. You didn't chap. You didn't chap. You're good. Geval de Grishagi, Arav Tov, Bisiat Deshmaya, Ravavi, Shkayach. Shkayach. Mirza